No All right, so um, sorry, sorry. There's uh, something going on live in the background. So we got uh, Kevin Winger. So I was, st- I was strolling through Telegram one day, and Big Mike, who you guys will recognize from Nifty Wizards and like eighteen thousand other cool things. No, um, nobody knows me. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I think, I think, I think, I think you're at least infamous, if not actually just famous. Um, so you know. He basically, you know, Kevin Winger is. I'm like, no, I don't know who's Kevin Winger. So he brings me to this Telegram group. We start, and you can kind of see uh, in the background there, there's some paintings. We're going to be showing you a bunch of stuff. But this guy's art is completely rad, and he's starting to drop uh, a bunch of NFTs on, uh, uh, on you know, uh, atomic assets and, and just kind of getting into this, uh, getting into this whole space. So, Kevin, if you could, you know, please, by all means, introduce yourselves, maybe show us a couple of pictures. Let us know where we're at and what you you know. We've got a couple things uh, listed up to, to to show some people. But how the hell are you, man? And thanks for getting into the NFT space because it's going to be uh, cool. Yeah, man. I'm I'm excited to be here. Thanks for uh, for hosting this and uh, thanks, Big Mike, for being here. Yeah, um, my name's thanks Kevin Winger. I'm an artist. I've been painting my whole life, but professionally for probably about 15 years. And um, opened a gallery in San Diego about 11 years ago, and. Um, yeah, this is what I do. You can see I've got a few paintings here. Um, I like really bold colors. Um, one of the things that um, a lot of people don't know about the work is that I don't use any brushes at all. I use all palette knives. So it's kind of like a, a sculptural approach to painting. So they have a lot of really chunky depth to them. You know, they kind of are crossing into that, that third dimension. So I have a lot of fun sculpting the paint, you know, as opposed to just applying it like a traditional artist would. So. That's kind of what, but sets it apart a little bit. Like I can show you, maybe I can show you this one kind of on edge, just to give you a little idea about. Oh how wow! Some of that paint so is so much depth. So you know <laughs> that's, that's awesome. like. So that's like that's what really yeah, drew me in the first place. I was it's just like, of, wow, look at that depth! Like that's amazing. So you, and know, you can see I, it in his photos too. And you know, I <laughs> love I love really really uh, vibrant colors. When I was a uh, Finishing my art degree, I, uh, I really dug into the uh, color theory courses, and you know that that the science behind that just blows your mind because it's all tapped into psychology and and emotions and how you can make things appear more saturated or vibrant or like they're moving just by using certain colors and certain combinations. So, so I'm totally down with that. But yeah, that's 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 me. I this is what I do for a living. So I love it. Awesome. So we just had our first uh, our first comment. Somebody really wants to see the blue one. And I don't blame them. Could we maybe get a close up of that uh, the blue one in the middle back there? The uh, the sailboat, the the geometric guy, this one. Uh, yes. the blue one, one one down from that. Oh, is that? Oh, that's the same one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. Well, I, we I thought the one on the top was was two different ones, but it's actually just one. Yeah, let me yes. uh, let me pull this back. So this is actually this is going to be the big limited edition uh, NFT drop. That we're going to be doing um, this Friday. It's about two days out right now. But yeah, this one's called Destiny, and this piece obviously it's kind of got a. You can see some of the texture there on it, but it's um, it's definitely got the it's got the full range of colors, and um, it's sixteen by twenty inches. For those of you uh, in Europe, you got to do the conversion there. But uh, but yeah, this is this is the this is the big guy. This is one I created actually this year, so it's a fairly new piece. Um, it's just almost dry. These take like four to six months to really cure properly because the oh, paint wow. is so heavy and so thick. So, um, so yeah. So this guy is uh, is going to be what the NFT um, drop is going to be based on this 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 coming uh, this coming Friday. So yeah, yeah. I'm trying to load that up right now. I want one. Dang it. Keep doing the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, it looks amazing, man. It really does. So, yeah, so yeah, this, yeah, is, this nice. is a cool one. I kind of did like an informal um, poll, and uh, people seem to really like the kind of geometric abstracts and the nautical themed pieces. So, 
So I decided to kind of combine those two into one just to kind of really, you know, appeal to a broad, you know, broad thing of people. Oh yeah. So the, uh, the animated one you see there, that's a special uh, animation I put together um, for, for the same piece. Now, the grand prize um, that we're doing for the drawing is the actual painting you're seeing uh, behind us here, the one I just showed off. And then we have five other prizes, and it's a limited edition uh, animated NFT uh, that you're seeing on the screen right now, the Chromium Shift version. Yep. And um, what's cool, too, is I, with a, with a lot of... Uh, with a lot of learning curve, um, figured out how to put backs on these guys and did a, an animated signature that you can see in the in the second photo there. Um, yeah, that, how did you do? How did you do the backs on them? I'm gonna have to learn uh, how to do this. We can talk about this later. Yeah, you can add uh, multiple images, um, but then you have you have to post um, upload the picture to a, a hosting site that generates the uh, the IFPS, and uh, then you cut and paste it into the image field. Um, I think I heard uh, Jonah said that uh, Jonah from Atomic Assets. I believe he said you can do um, a number of different um, uh, images with these, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a front and a back. You can just have multiple images. So that's um, cool. But yeah, but that was doing the animation was a uh, was 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 tough. <laughs> it, it, it took some work. I'm not I'm not a, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a graphics guy. I'm a you know kind of more traditional artist. So. It was. Uh, I had a lot of help from from other people, like Big Mike and uh, and Jonah and and um, and uh, Anders and a bunch of other folks. So that's cool. It's yeah. There's so many cool people in the space uh, that uh, they're doing such really really cool things. I was really excited to to, to have you on because you know we had uh, um, we just did event one for uh, for M Blue and uh, Anders was actually a part of that too we're we're doing an update on that pretty soon and you dropped the first uh, uh you know mp3 music video as an as an nft um and i'm actually uh recording with him uh to do the the next one i've got like uh, uh um so I, musician was my day job until uh cryptocurrency and and, oh, nice. <laughs> and nfts ate my life uh but yeah so it's it's that it's just really really awesome to see the amount of creativity that's coming in the space uh, so you're, uh, d tell, tell us about the event that you have going on. You were saying like there, there's a, a, a grand prize, uh, that is the, um, you know, the painting that, that we, uh, that we had you point out. Um, there's uh, one of five we can see on here of, of these things going on. How do people get involved in, uh, in what's going on? Um, well, we're, the event is going to be basically just like a, uh, another, another drop, um, of, of the painting that I'm showing you behind there. I just, I just sent you a link to the, uh, the countdown page on atomic. Uh, oh, cool. um, but yeah, we're going to do, um, like I said, a limited edition NFT. I, I went really high resolution on this guy. So if you've got one of those display screens at home, um, the, the file that I attached to this is like eight megs and That's cool. play really nice on, on almost all devices. Um, but yeah, it's limited to only 50. There's only 50 of them. So once it goes live, um, we're going to, um, those will be offered for sale and you can buy five initially, but then there's going to be a time, a timeout on it where, um, it, it, it'll reset in 10 minutes. So if there's any left, you know, if, and if you want to buy five, then of course you, know, you got to wait 10 minutes and then they'll, they'll be available again. We're going to see how it goes. It's kind of the first of its kind. Um, I was encouraged by, um, a number of people in the space, including big Mike here to kind of, uh, <clears throat> To figure out a way to do like physically back with the actual uh with the actual paintings you know and um so it's i did the first one i did actually um i did with um roy of a uh, of wax stash and um he wanted one of the physical pieces and so we we minted the nft and he, he pushed me to get the signature thing going on the back and, and that's now tight man it looks really cool more, you know it's like it's out there in the world and uh it's pretty cool. I mean, it's got to be like, if, if not just on wax, it's got to be one of the first like digital uh, painting slash uh, physical painting combos out there. I would imagine. Yeah, I've been looking on some of the other, you know, some of the Ethereum based um, sites, and and I I don't know if anybody's doing it. I have I have not seen. I've seen a lot of great, you know, amazing digital art being offered as NFTs on different platforms, but I. I haven't seen that the kind of the bridge happen yet. And so, and, and even Roy looked around and he didn't see anything. So, you know, I'm fairly confident we're, you know, breaking some new ground here, which is, which is super exciting. And I know Jonah and Fabian over at Atomic, they're, 
you know, they're, they're totally digging it. So it just, it cool. seems like such a natural direction for the space to go, you know, like the amount of people that are holding wealth in, in artwork of all different kinds. And now you have this way of, of digitizing that, that ownership in a very, very real and decentralized way. It just seems like kind of an automatic thing. And so it's really, really cool to see. I mean, you guys are doing it. If not the first, then like, you know, within months of the first. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's yeah. it's also a way to give artwork provenance on the blockchain too, right? Like that, that work is now recorded forever in history. Right, right. And right. we've got some so, really interesting ideas of how we can um, how we can make uh, that the process work. Like like the one of one of anything I release or anybody releases that's tied to the physical that can be redeemed and it will have to be burned and then you're actually issued the one of one after you've you know claimed proven your address. And right. you know, exchange shipping information. Now we're going to start automating all of that. So if you do buy that, there's a way to do all of that, you know, via smart contract. And um, that's all still being ironed out right now. It's you know, it's is having to be, you know, just communicating that information. But you know, it's like you're just uh, just getting it done. Yeah, it's just the details cool. now. Uh, so yeah, Lori's asking for uh, for a link. How can we uh, direct you people to uh, to your work? Um, it's uh, kevinwinger.com. Um, so oh, we'll make it hard for us. Why not? W I N right. Dot com. So dot com. That's where you can see um, a fair number of my oil paintings and, and more information about about that. Now the paintings that are on there are are available, except for for this one. This one's not available. I haven't been able to pull it off the site yet. This one this one belongs to somebody already. <laughs> but oh, anything nice. else? Everything else on the site is available right now. And um, yeah. that one doesn't link to anything either. So you're good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe that was serendipitous, you know? Maybe that, maybe yeah, that totally. Accidentally on purpose. Perfect. All right. So I'm actually just going to take a little tour of, uh, of the thing here because it looks really awesome. Nice. Shockingly. Just love those colors. Right. And you, like you really do. Uh, thank you so much for showing me like the, 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 the sort of side, the depth part of it, because you can totally see it. Like once you've seen the, the sort of three dimensionality of it, you can't unsee it. Right. Like mm -hmm. it just you could sort of fake this with colors. But now I know like, no, 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 that's like that. That's real three dimensional. Scroll, scroll back for, for a sec um, yep. to this, uh, this guy right here. Yeah, this okay. one's called uh, Swift Sunrise, the, the one right below it, the, uh, the tree. Oh, OK. Um, it's actually have it here in the background as well, but that one is going to be uh, featured on um, um, Bad Crypto podcast on nice, cool. a Friday afternoon, and they're going to be doing a uh, a, um, a sale on the, uh, the, the I think it's is it the Nifty Show? That's the that's, Nifty Show, Nifty yeah, Home yeah. Shopping Network, or something. Yeah, like Joel that. and I, have been, uh, Joel and I have been uh, chatting at each other, and uh, you know he's he's uh, he's hooking us up too, so. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you scroll down, there's, there's quite a few, uh, quite a few pieces. Um, some of them are more abstract than others. Some of them are representational. I kind of just, uh, let the process, you know, guide me through, you know, just start I, moving. I around. love that one. Yeah. Love that one. Yeah. I, I yeah. like the color scheme. I really want to do some more with, uh, like you see how the colors are transitioning from the sky to the bottom. You get the full, mm -hmm. you get the full, uh, bandwidth of color. And um, mm -hmm. I, I'm definitely going to employ that in some future works. Yeah, that's awesome. These are all awesome. They're nice for sure. I like the tide one too. Oh wow! And that one's got to be one of my second favorites there. Yep. That's I like the cake. sun, like how how you can see like all the sort of uh, palette marks and like yeah. all the, right. the depths and creates those lines. Yeah. yeah, yeah, makes it look awesome. Sure. Agreed. Go All right, and so uh, when people come to uh, to to Kevin, like, as far as like the, uh, uh, the the giveaways and stuff, like how how can people take part in that again? Sorry, I, I think I might have missed that. So um, we, I, I sent you a link for uh, for for the giveaway. I do. I have a, a special NFT, an animated one. I sent you the link over to. Um, yeah, I, I can. Post that. Have, there's going to be ten of those available for the for the first ten folks that plug in their. Uh, their dot wham or dot wa, I will be sending over a copy of this guy. This is a Genesis block nice. and 
Uh, the way I would describe this piece, it's, it, it is inspired by blockchain. And um, it's basically an aerial view of nodes that are intersecting, basically, that are, that are moving across each other in space, but they're not actually touching. So it's like if you were looking down at all these moving rectangles and, and squares, no, basically nodes, and they're all basically moving, but they're, but they're their own decentralized kind of you know, shape, and they're moving through the ether, basically. Um, so that's kind of what inspired the, uh, the Genesis block. Um, I'm, I'm going to be working on some future animations where those actual nodes are actually moving across, and they're actually animated. Um, so that's to be, to that's... be looked forward to in the future. But yeah, there's 10 of these for today's, uh, for today's Chirpcast. And, uh, nice. First 10 so, the nice. Yeah, maybe we could do if because uh, you've got a channel, um, and that's actually in the in the uh, uh, in the notes for uh, for this show already. But maybe what we'll have people do is uh, throw their their wax accounts in your channel so that you get some uh, some followers on Chirp as well. Perfect. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually just gonna pop in there and put it in the comments so we have it. Do you, so um how long how long until uh um uh that that one goes like are you guys doing doing an auction for it or like the, as far as the 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 one one what's the what's the plan there again for okay so that's, so that's a giveaway oh so how how's that giveaway working so folks are talking about the um the destiny piece back here for the for the drop yeah yeah yeah, so we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with. Uh, we're gonna sell fifty each purchase. Um, enters you into the drawing. So if you you buy one of those, uh, once they're all sold, or once forty eight hours elapses, we'll be doing a, a live drawing um, on the wheel, <laughs> the big uh, the big provable wheel, and yeah. then um, that whatever address is selected will will win the grand prize of the physical painting. Um, then that person and I will communicate and we'll get that shipped out to that winner. Uh, then we'll be doing five more drawings and that will be uh, of the animated version of Destiny, which we, we put on on the screen a little bit earlier. Um, and then obviously I'll just distribute those guys out um, as well to those five winners. So a total of six prizes. So if you buy one of the, one of the, uh, the 50 limited edition uh, Destiny um, NFTs, you will, you'll basically have six chances to, uh, to win something. That's uh, that's awesome. So, cool. guys, I just posted uh, Kevin's channel on Chirp. Um, so uh, we'll take the first ten uh, wax addresses. We'll get uh, we'll get one of the free ones of uh, of Genesis Block Three here, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, and of course, you can Ooh. go to uh, uh, the you know you can go to that collection on uh, Atomic Hub uh, and uh, pick up one of uh, one of the fifty. If you buy one of those, you get entered into uh, to win that painting back there, which is uh tight freaking fantastic nice. so that's that's cool man thank you for uh, helping me to, to understand that i was a little bit fuzzy on the details but we got there at the end right on it's cool shit and thank you everyone for uh for sharing this out again this is kevin winger um uh, he's dropping real art you know as uh, as nfts he's also like these you know nfts in uh, uh some cases like the one of one is actually going to be backing the real painting uh before too long you're actually going to be able to burn that uh and and take possession of the actual piece of artwork which i think is super genius and probably how the whole world's going to work before too long yeah uh, you're, you're <laughs> watching people like kevin winger do it first it's really really awesome man thank you very much for uh, for coming on and for uh, for showing us this stuff so kev uh, has a bunch a uh, bunch of stuff uh, on a topic hub right now as well uh do you want to tell them about that kev yeah let me send you over a uh, a link real quick um i've actually uh pretty uh, KR Winger Arts. Yeah, KR yeah. Winger Arts. It's been uh, already there. Right on. Yeah, it's been pretty amazing to see uh, the reaction from folks, and didn't expect it um, that I'm you know kind of in the uh, in the top few collections on Atomic Assets. It kind of it kind of blows my mind a little bit to to think of it because I mean I've been you know you know the more classic approach with my art you know gallery you know well lit physical paintings, people coming and going, foot traffic, and this has just opened up an entire new world. I mean, I'm, I'm shipping paintings to Canada, I'm shipping paintings to Germany, and you know, the you know the Netherlands. It's like, it, my mind is, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm proud, but I'm also humbled, and, and it's, it's opening up an entire new world, and, um, 
you know, big props to all those who have been, uh, you know, and there to answer my questions and help them, you know, kind of hold my hand a little bit of the way, you know, um, Big Mike, Jonah, Anders, you know, Fabian, Roy, Waxstash, you know, all these folks have just, you know, just, you know, just awesome, awesome guys. Happy to help any way we can. It's great to get uh, some <clears throat> traditional artists on blockchain. I mean, that's yeah, something need, that we haven't really seen. So, yeah, I got to have to bring all my other art friends into the space and then start teaching them, you know, pass the torch, you know? Right. Yeah. 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 That's, I mean, that's, that's going to be a huge, a huge boon for, uh, for artists. I mean, it's the same kind of thing with the, the, the music, frankly, like I, you know, been a musician for, for a really, really long time. Um, and you know, doing like cover gigs or whatever, you know, I released an album. wasn't really a big deal. I haven't been really excited about it for a while, which is kind of embarrassing, but like the, the, it just, you know, th there wasn't really anywhere to go in the business without touring and, you know, I'm married and I'm not going anywhere or whatever. So it's just kind of that sort right. of thing. And freaking Anne Blue shows up, and like suddenly, like I all like if you look at my desk now, it's just all music. Like I bought all the gear I needed to start recording, <laughs> you know, like that, that, you know. And it's going to be, you know, re my reimaginings of his songs that are going to be the second event, and we're releasing a single of mine after that. Like I'm just like, fuck it, let's 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 get some creative on because there's just oh, there's yeah. really so much room in the space now, um, and it's just it's awesome to 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 watch what you're doing with the medium. And I mean, your art is awesome. <laughs> there's so there's much. that. Um, I'm excited to, to check out some of your stuff too. You know the music. I mean, yeah, I'll I I'll uh, I'll send you some precuts uh, yeah. as uh, DMs or whatever before we before Sweet. we do it. Like, I just I sent over like just some some basic tracks to uh, uh, like as I was testing some stuff out to uh, M Blue and he freaked out. So he wants to like nice. produce it like crazy. So yeah, I was that was nice. that was pretty exciting. Um, right. Huge thank you to uh, Ken Bozak who's in the comments telling people to uh, to head over to. Uh, uh, you know Kevin Winger's uh, channel on Chirp and drop your uh, your Wax account. Uh, we want to have people over on uh, Kevin's Chirp channel and following there. So the first ten, uh, uh, the first ten of the uh, the Wax addresses there are going to get a, a free one of his NFTs, which I don't know if you noticed. Our Sweet. boss, right? Yeah. Muy good. Very. Nice. All right. So. I got uh, I got two questions for you, Big Mike. Feel free to chime in on this because I know we've had a few different conversations, but it never gets old. Uh, <laughs> number one, what is your biggest concern about social media? We'll start with Kevin, Kev? considering he's the the the, the primo <laughs> guest. Biggest concern about social media, like just yeah. the broad general sense. However, you want to answer that question is entirely up to you. Um. I think it's uh, the information that's out there and the uh, provability of that information. But I think the responsibilities on both sides, I think that content creators, but also consumers really need to, you know, be, you know, you know, you need to be ethical. Number one, need to not be posting shit. That's not fake to influence or harm people. I mean, and the, you know, the other half of that too, is you have to be, you know, uh, a consumer that you know uses uses your brain man uses some logic uses some critical thinking because i mean I, I know people that get their news i mean i've, I've lost friends you know <laughs> you know in the last <laughs> year for, over yeah. just some stupid bullshit it's like okay i mean i'm not going to get into the politics at all but yeah. uh, in details but I, we, we just we need to be better consumers and i think the platforms they I mean they're private companies and they they can do a better job of cleaning up the space because there's so much out there. And, and I think, and ultimately it's going, it's going to hurt them. I mean, everything comes and goes, everything will have an end date. Facebook isn't going to last forever. Twitter's not going to last forever. But these, these, these platforms can certainly give a better experience um, in terms of the information they, they allow. I don't, I don't see it as censorship because we choose to consume it. Um, right. And they are, they are private companies. Um, it, you you opt in or you opt out. It's your choice. And so you nailed it because that. that's that because like with trip that's that like one of the things that we're trying to deal with is exactly that right. Like all the the meetings that we had running up to this and how we're trying to manage it right now. We want to provide like a, a value social ex a valuable social experience experience because obviously everybody's really interested in that. But have the content have the information be as 
uh, vital and truthful and effective and valuable as humanly possible. And the way that we sort of landed on doing that, uh, the simplest right now, we're not going to serve up any algorithms to uh, to anybody as far as like tracking people's data and serving right. the shit they hate so they'll you know have more eyeballs. And we are basically taking away the personal follow situation. Uh, at least for now, there's some debate going on in that, but th you have to basically opt into channels. So the information that you're going to get, you as a consumer are absolutely responsible for, hey, I want to be part of this channel. Um, yep. And you know that channel is going to have uh, uh, moderator controls before too long. So there's going to be a channel owner that's going to be responsible for for curating it to a, to a certain extent, right? Like how, like creating as much valuable as, uh, value as possible. Okay. And then each user is going to have to actually opt in. So I'm glad that you brought it up and then immediately went into the opt in, opt out because that that personal responsibility is key. Like we we have right. to we can't this can't be done for us completely, right? As a as a company, we can try our best to to create a really good environment. But at the end of the day, we want to sort of empower people to to figure that shit out as well and exactly. and add that layer. Yeah, you know, your, Europe has kind of stepped in and they have you know a digital rights package and you know private information and they you know they they've created some you know laws you know to protect mm -hmm. users and information, how it can be used, how it can be monetized. You know, and I, and I you know there've been some projects out there. I don't think any of them have come to fruition, and they've all been blockchain projects that are trying to you know put the power back in the in the user's hand. If it's your data. You should be able to pick and choose who's using it for what purpose, and then you should make money off of it. Period. Yep. You know, if 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 they, I mean, the, the amount of money. I mean, information is is the new is the new fiat. You know, right yeah. now. So absolutely. And we're and, sure. and we, as the basically we're just being harvested. You know. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Facebook's making eighty billion dollars in profit a year just in the United States. So yeah. you know if and, and again the network the network effect is huge. Like you know getting chirp off the ground with uh, you know a few thousand people and then you know a couple hundred thousand people is going to be a Herculean task. But the goal is to make sure that you know not only is fifty percent of the ad revenue that we bring in going to go back out to the community, but if we're ever put in a situation where we can actually start monetizing our data, you'll be able to opt into that. And you'll also be getting fifty percent of that, just because it, like it's it's something that should be shared right off the bat, right? That's awesome. That really is. Yeah, that's super rad. Love it. We're, we're working on it. It's a little thing we're trying out. You know. What do you think, Big Mike? Where do you where do you stand on the responsibility of consumer and platform? Oh man, I think it's hilarious that because <clears throat> it seems like a lot of people just want to shove that off onto the platform, right? And and I mean, I get it that they have to be responsible and. They, they need to uphold certain standards. But at the same time, like uh, I'm very much one person that says that people need to be responsible for their own actions and they need to know what they're reading and, and vet it and, and not just buy everything in, in the, that comes on TV or on Facebook or on, on Twitter or whatever, right? So you, you always need to have to, to take everything with a grain of salt, right? So I, I definitely see that uh, that both parties need to be more responsible, and we can't just blame one or the other for sure. All right, last question. Um, and uh, Kevin, thank you very much for coming on. If you're ever doing anything in the future, just let me know, and we'll do this again. Because uh, yeah, I I, I absolutely want to make sure that uh, our community is supporting you as much as we possibly can. So the last question is more fun. What excites you the most about social media? Other than like suddenly sending paintings out to freaking across the oceans and stuff, or just I mean, that, also, it's it's it's, cool. such, it's such a powerful tool. I mean, you look at some of the big things that have that have changed, you know, our culture and our evolution in terms of communication. You know, you've got you know the internet, and then you know you've got you know social media, and now blockchain. And you know what's exciting about it? I think that it's there's so many possibilities and there's so many creative ways to apply the technology for good, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I think, uh, and not just, not just for profit, you know, because I mean, that, that is, we, we all need to make a living, but at a certain point, you know, once you got a roof over your head, you got, you know, food in your stomach and, you know, you're, you're not freezing to death, you know, your happiness quotient doesn't go up, you know, too much depending on, you know, how much money you have or, you know, so I'm a firm believer that, it should be definitely be used more for good than, than just for, um, you know, just for making money. Um, there's so, I, I don't know. I get, I, I get excited about technology. I get excited about novel ways to, to share. Um, one of my biggest beliefs about 
just art in general is it's two things. It's it's half of it is you actually have to create something new. You have to go from that inception of idea to something you can share with somebody. And the other half is sharing it. You have other people you can't just create in a bubble and expect people to come to you. Um, you have to be able to get it in front of people, get their reaction. Because that's that that's the point of art, you know, is to is to move people and to change culture, to change minds, or just just affect people, bring them joy, make them think, you know, just different stuff like that. So I mean, social media's ability to you know disseminate you know information um, to the masses, I think that's very exciting, and I think the addition of blockchain um, technology to that, uh, you know, to make it you know, more honest and more provable and, you know, more unique. I think that that, that's, that's what really gets me, gets me going. I mean, cause look what it's, look what it's, it's doing for, for look at garbage pail kids. I mean, it's, it's pulling, you know, <laughs> us all, you know, 41 to 45 year old, you know, you know, eighties kids, it's pulling us out of the, out of the weeds, you know, and connecting us and, um, and bringing us and bringing us together and, and into the NFT space because I mean when it was just you know Crypto Kitties was the only thing on the map and no no ding to Crypto Kitties those guys did a badass job of creating something novel but the space is so much bigger now and there's so much more that could be done you know in the space and so it's 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 cool to see what it's you know how it's bringing people that otherwise never would have never would have connected and it's yeah. bringing out bringing them together to work on projects and collaborate. And what a better time to collaborate where we're all, you know, on lockdown. <laughs> you yeah. Know? For sure. Yeah, and I think that's go ahead. the biggest Pick thing my- for me, Corey, is is the connection and the communication. Because yeah. never before have we all been able to communicate on the same level and been able to understand each other's point of view as as much and been able to co- collaborate as much and ha- and have had such an easy time of doing it. So for me, that that is revolutionary and, and we're literally just getting started on this road. So who's to know where we're gonna go from here, right? Yeah, that that's that's what gets me to like the, the I mean, the, the entire team that I'm working on now Everybody who's been on Chirpcast, the vast majority of people that have been on Chirpcast, I've never once been in the same room as them in in real space. Um, I've never actually been in the same room as the team that I work with every day for Chirp. You know, like it just it, without you know the 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 good side of social media, this just wouldn't you know, even exist. But to your point, Big Mike, like <laughs> we don't know where this is going to be in five years. We don't know at all, right? And you know, this is so why, new. It really it is. Really like, is. I, I, I love asking both of these questions because the concern element, there's clearly a lot of concerns there. We want to, you know, with Chirp, we want to at least take a run. We want to take a stab at, at having an effect on that in a really positive way. But the exciting bit of it, you know, I, it just gets overlooked, right? Like the, it's so easy to sort of hear the squeaking wheel and to see, you know, all the psychos who are just like eating conspiracy theories for breakfast. And like, that's a legit problem, right? It's a, it, We could all see that something really, really crazy is going on. But when you start hanging out just with people who are collaborating with other people and getting stuff done, you really see like that, you know, it's not, they're not going to cover that on the news. Right. Cause that's not, you know, it, it's just, it's just cool. It's like, Oh, cool. Sunday. It like, doesn't make artist. headlines. Right. It, does, it doesn't, it doesn't make headlines. It's not interesting. Right. It's such a beautiful thing though. So I'm glad that you guys brought it up in exactly that way. So at least here on Chirpcast, we can be like, motherfuckers, this shit is going on and it is good. Right. Yeah. Right. Represent. Absolutely. All right. Um, so kevinwinger.com. Go there. Uh, there's also uh, uh, links already in the show notes where you can go and uh, buy up one of the uh, one of 50 NFTs. And one of those uh, purchased is going to win the actual uh, uh, piece of art uh, behind us there. Um, maybe show us that again because yeah, really. It's, yes, really, it's really good. Yeah, that boy out here. Yeah, that's it's not a it's not a small painting, you know. This is a, like I said, it's a, it's huge. I, I consider this like a medium to medium large um, um work. So yeah, that's that Very that's nice. the so you can see a little bit of that, wow. that texture there. And I mean the colors that you're seeing on the screen, I mean it's 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 nice, it's saturated. It, you, anybody who has this in their home, it's definitely gonna bring 
you know, have, I know happiness and joy. That's what I'm trying to do, you know, is, you know, lighten up a space, you know, this is a, it's a conversation piece. So it does that. Right. Yeah. How, sure. uh, how many of those are left? Um, of uh, my, I mean, in my inventory of, uh, yeah, actual- of the, of the yeah. NFTs. Um, oh no. So there's, there's going to be 50 total. Yeah. How, how many, how many are left that have not sold? They're actually they're oh, going they're, they're going they're going live on Friday, so we haven't even started the sale yet. So, uh, so yeah, that's so, good. Uh, no, five thirty yeah. p.m. GM, GMT, uh, ten thirty a.m. Pacific Standard. Um, so yeah, so for for us on the West Coast here, it's going to be ten thirty a.m. tomorrow, and and you know Europe, depending on where you're at. But yeah, five thirty GMT p.m over there okay. so 1 30 my time i'm probably gonna set an alarm i'm not gonna lie there you go there you go i mean and you can only are, yeah. buy five Corey. so don't try and scoop them all right no dude i don't even have that i don't have i don't have no wax for that unfortunately but i definitely want to get one i definitely want to get one because they're really good <sighs> um yeah, me too, all right guys sure. thank you so much for uh for coming on uh we're going to be uh hosting a dust auction here in about uh, 15 minutes if you haven't seen a dust auction yet, it's one of the most ridiculous things you'll ever see. It's a bunch of grown ass men having fun with their digital stickers. Uh, right. <laughs> on. For, for some reason, that doesn't get old. I don't understand it's why. It's awesome. I love but it. But it really it's is. Awesome. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, dust is a currency that absolutely has no reason for being whatsoever, but it's probably going to take over the world. Uh, and it's just a bunch of goofy uh, uh, NFTs. Actually, you know what? If uh, Kevin, if you could, um, I'm. I think we might actually be almost up to the uh, up to the the ten there, but I'm gonna send you my my uh, wax count. If you could send me one of those things, and we'll do a giveaway of one of yours, and I'll I'll announce that on the uh, the next show as well, so people know what's up. You got it. Cool. Awesome. All right, man. Thank you guys so much for coming on. And seriously, Kevin, if you even just want to come and update us uh, in a couple of weeks about how all this stuff went out, I would be super interested to hear that. Absolutely, I know our community yeah. would too. Yeah, big and, Mike uh, talking about some really uh, cool new ideas. So. Uh... So yeah, we'll have we'll have some more content for you guys for sure. Awesome, man. Awesome. All right, thank you so much for uh, for coming on guys and we will talk to you very very soon. Awesome. Thanks. Peace out, brother. Thanks, man.